now i am going to work with the scripting load now what i can do i am going to call one business tool from script this is a very very important topic and uh, so tomorrow is a final topic final uh, class so before going to working with that script it's a very 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 important last topic in service now right so what is a scripting load guys now i am going to write into the question before going to working with that uh, script include and business tools and uh, UI action combination first of all you would like to know what is write the entry questions all one first of all i'm going to write the entry question parallelly right what is business rules it's a very important question we have to say business rule is running from server side to perform in the crowd operation that may be creating reading updating deleting through business rules we can go for that business rule Perform the optical operation, go for the business rule. And uh, types of business rule, types of business rules, we have to explain four business rules, right? What are the business rules? Before, after, asyncing, and uh, display business rule. Third one is so difference between difference between before and uh, after business rules so what is the difference between business rule so before business rule will be executing before going to take the action right so after any customer any customer submit the form any customer after submit the form before going to take the action before business will be executed right but what about after so after taking the action right after taking already taking the action then after the business should be executed right and what is the difference between difference between async after business rule async business rule is running from running after after business rule, right next one is what is that ui action so again i can work with that combination also you action what is your action what is your... guys write these all the questions very very important what is your action service now how to create new ui action purpose of business tools are executing from client side or server side ui action actions are running from client side on server side guys i'm asking some uh, some simple question to you right please tell me the answer right so different apis are available in the service platform tell me what are the, the what are the different apis so client scripts will execute in client or server client scripts client scripts will execute in server or client anybody client side business rules server side and uh, ui policy client side data policy server side and uh, ui actions server side client no, side both. Is. <laughs> both right both, yeah both uh, yes. don't confuse uh, yes. so ui actions are executing from server and client both right so if you want to execute on the client side, what we can do, we need to enable the checkbox called client and 
and have the connection on a gig function. Okay, so these are the APS frequently asking from the customer. And one more thing also. One second. Right. See, uh, some APIs are available also, right? So, Glide Record executing client or server? Glide Record. Server side. Glide form. Server side. Client Glide side. form. Glide form. Uh, client side. <laughs> client side. Client side. Yeah, client side. So, uh, like uh, Glide user. Client side only. Sir. Client side. And uh, Glide aggregation. Client only. Server side. Aggregation, server side, and right? So these are all my uh, important questions frequently asking from the server, right? Uh, asking from the kind of interviewer. So they're going to confuse the people, right? Because if you are uh, working on this all uh, like uh, components and all APIs frequently, you can remember the other things. So they're confusing the people, right? Really confusing the people. So remember it to remember these other things. We can remember more times. Events are not going once in three hours. Sorry, Pavan, what is saying something? Somebody, right? So view actions are running from client side or server side. So both we have to say that both. Next question is so what is the next question? Parameters. GSFT submit. We have to explain the parameters. Null parameter, gender skill format, get form element. Third one, you have to pass in the name of the parameter, right? So then why we can use that purpose of that? So this is about uh, uh, business rules and new action. Now I can working with that. Again, I'm going to working with that business rules and you action through scripting code. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about scripting yeah, code. Yeah, so that means business remote and uh, set calls. So, for... right. So, what is scripting code? It's a very, very important last concept in service now, but all service no platform, entire service, service no platform is going to working based on that scripting code. So all out of the bus functionality working based on that background running in some scripting loads. Now I need to working with that scripting load code. And uh, first of all, you would like to know what is scripting load, how to use the scripting load in service now, how to call the scripting load code in client side also. So first of all, you would like to know what is scripting load. So what is scripting cloud this is a very very first inter important question entry also scripting cloud nothing but uh, a server side javascript logic server side javascript logic or code snippets create once and use multiple places so what is the multiple places that may be in it anywhere else right so where the server side javascript is going to running that may be ui actions or business rules so these two places frequently we can call it scripting load and sometimes you can call the scripting load code from client side also uh, uh, like in client side also through glad ajax first time i'm going to working with that normal scripting load how to write the scripting load types of scripting load right so first of all you would like to know scripting load right now what is a scripting load let me open the documentation it's a very 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 important these all questions are very important everything is a question in development part that is called scripting load scripting load is nothing but a reusable code snippets mainly executing on the server side server side javascript like javascript logic we can write in the scripting load call it to the multiple places that is called scripting load simply i can say scripting load nothing but server side logic create wants and useful use multiple places that may be business rules and your action right and second one is Types of scripting load. We have three types of scripting load. So it's, next question is types of scripting loads. Types of scripting loads. 
So basically in the service platform, we have three types of scripting load. One is that on demand and classless. Second one is extended and existing clause. And uh, this will be executing on the client side. Third one is going to define in the new clause. Now I'm going to show that practically what is the difference between on demand and classless. And second one is ex extend the existing class defining the new class, right? Now let me creating so one script include here. So let me understand. First of all, open that my script include. Go to script include. Go to system UI. Just click on that script includes. Almost we have 1754 script includes are available in my service platform. Remember it is script include nothing but uh, code snippets. Reusable code snippets, right? Create once and usable multiple places. Right? Now if you want to search it to any table, right? There is no table. Script includes are not related to any vertical table. We can create the script include in my service no platform that can be called to any place business rules or UI action, right? Now I'm going to create a new script include. Just click on that and create news like now I'm going to creating an on demand script include, right? So going to open that uh, new script include just to try to understand what happened. I'm going to creating new script include that application may related to global or that may be predefined application incident problem and change and this application scope only nothing but not any scope application and uh, right click on save it what happened guys here when you create any new script include so what happened automatically it will be taking as a script include name this is called new scripting on demand right so this is called code uh, like a uh, what is that script include code template now again go to not save it here go into creating on demand script include right see new include what happened guys here so when you create any new script include what if it's not going to take it on demand this is global right yes so don't take any space between the name right now i'm going to creating one script include now i'm going to create one script include this is called on demand and classless i'm not going to creating any new class so when you're creating any script and you're providing any script include name so this template will be showing automatically in my on demand script include so that is the name of variable so you are so that's good Okay guys, uh, we have three types of script includes. One is that on demand, classless. Second one is that object extended. Third one is a new class. Okay, right? So what about this one? On demand script include. So when you provide in the name of the script include, automatically the template will be creating with this name, right? So variable new instant is nothing but script include, right? So on demand classless script include will be creating with that class of creating and it's a name of our script include, right? We are not going to providing any manual. When you create a provide the name of the script include, automatically it will be taking. So don't change the any value, right? So that is called on demand script include. Second one is extended and config script include, right? Now, so in case any this particular script include you are you want to call from like you want to call into that uh, client side, just you need to enable the property client side automatically changing that it's what is this one extended object script include so on demand and classless so classless nothing but i'm not going to create any class when you provide in the name of the class class nothing but a name of the script include class will be creating automatically that is called class test template on demand template now i'm going to talk about extended and extended class right that is called to call the script include like a code into Client side 
first of all we need to enable the property call client callable right so what is that client callable now let me open that my client callable so client callable automatic changing the name is the common and uh, new include prototype equal to object or extended object it is going to call in the ajax procedure so that is called glide ajax all right so glide ajax we can discuss later when you call the scripting board in client side so this is called second type is called extended object and uh, third scripting code is called new class so if you want to define any new class so directly we can be able to create in the class from so script include right so very simple to create the class so this is called example of on demand script include a script include that defines a single function is known as a on demand right so when you provide in the name of the script include so automatically the name will be taken as a script include name so this is the first script script include name now my requirement is now my requirement is go to open the documentation so let me open the documentation script include script include examples Actually, now I'm going to prepare. Right now, I don't have get any scripting to documentation. In the second version, it will be releasing, so it's not ready to releasing. So I'm I have to prepare so many things in that scripting code. We are going to write a uh, scripting code. We are going to write a scripting code to create a client callable script, including by extending Glide Ajax. Right, the scripting code called to retrieve the data. A request for email address from the user table so now i need to auto populate in that user email id so that is one script include through glide ajax so this is my requirement so very simple to call it that name So guys, hello guys. Yes, it was. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, remaining examples I will take class tomorrow. Uh, unable to take it. 